Hey guys, welcome to another video with bradegger.com and today I'm going to show you how you can use the large formula, the if formula, the index match formula uh, to basically come up with and find out what the latest purchase price is on a data set for a given part number or item number that you select as a user. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually calculate what the latest PO date is for the item number selected. So we've already see here in cell B3 that we've got an item number uh, that can be selected and uh, input by the user. And then we have here a text box where we want to calculate the latest PO date. So I'm going to type in here equals and we're going to use the large formula to start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the if formula and we're going to look at, I've created a PO table on our data tab. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the PO table if PO item is equal to B3 so that's if the item number on our PO table within that range and the multiple values that are available equals the item number that is entered by the user then, if that's true, we actually want to return the created date. So on our PO table, we have created date. So I'm using structured referencing here uh, on our formula. And then, and I want to find it, when you're using the large formula, you'll see here that we have large, the array that we're looking at, and then finally the nth value or the kth value. So we want to find the largest value, the largest PO create date for that specific item. So I'm going to type in one here and then we're going to close the brackets. And because this is an array formula, we're going to have to hit control shift enter. Okay. So it found the latest PO date. So now if we go over to our data set and I go and I select, I think I had the yeah, item number three selected. So if I select item number three, just to confirm that this is indeed the latest PO date, and we sort from newest to oldest, you'll see that November 2nd is the latest PO date, and it does match there. So we know that that's working, which is great. But the problem is, is let's just say that the user inputs a value that actually doesn't exist here. So I've already got some validation here on the enter item number field uh, with the little check mark or a X that shows up if the value doesn't exist. So if I just typed in H or something, you'll see that that, uh, that we first of all get a uh, box with an X on it. That's a formula. You can quickly take a peek at this formula here. I'm not going to go over that in this video, though. I'm just going to hit escape here. And then I'm going to go over here. And what we want to do now is we want to just write something in here so that we don't have this ugly formatting on our table if uh, the value that you enter is not there. So what we'll do is we'll type in and use the if error around our formula. And then I'm going to type in comma. And I'm going to just say not available like that. And then I'll just close that. And again, we need to hit Control Shift Enter because we're looking at an array of data uh, using the array formula, of course. Um, and why we're doing it and how we're doing that is because we're looking up many items uh, under a specific column, in this case, the item column, and then as well as looking up many items under the create date to find uh, the largest one. So it becomes an array formula as a result. So we're going to want it to put not available there, and we're using the if error formula to do that. So the next thing that we want to do now is we have, let's just type a one an item that actually exists. So I'm going to type item number one. So the latest PO date is the 27th of August. So we have that in there. Um, so next thing we want to do is we're going to want to find the PO number because I want to see what the PO number is. Of course, the whole purpose of this is to show the last purchase price, but it's nice to have this information as well. So we're going to find the latest... Uh, PO number that's associated to these two to the combination of this record. So if we look and we use the index match, we can actually do multi criteria lookup on those two values. So on first of all, the item number and then also the latest PO date or the PO, PO date associated to that specific line. So if I type in index, in this case, we're going to want to look at and return the value from um, the purchase order column. So I'm going to type in PO. I'm going to use my structured reference and then I'm going to say purchase order. You'll see that that comes up. I just hit tab there 
and it automatically updates that. And then I'm going to hit comma, and we're going to do match, so it's an index match formula, and we're going to want to look up cell B3. And I'm going to hit F4, so making that absolute, so it always references that value in cell B3, even if I were to move the formula. And then we're going to type in end, the ampersand, and what this is going to do is actually concatenate these two together. So I'm going to then say D3, and I'm going to do F4 again, comma. So we have, we're looking for the item date combination, and then we're concatenating those to do the lookup. And then what we're going to do is then go out and find... Uh, those values. I'm losing power so I better hurry up. So we're going to type in PO and then we're going to close or open the back bracket I'm sorry and we're going to look for in this case we want to look under the item so we're looking up the item so B3 and then we're looking up that PO item and then we're going to use ampersand here and then PO again and we're going to concatenate that with the create date and I'm going to close that square bracket, which is the structure reference, and then I'm going to go comma zero. We want an exact match here, and then I'm going to close that formula off, and I'm simply going to hit control shift enter. And the control shift enter, what that does again is it ensures that we actually get a value back here and that it is being displayed because it's an array. Again, we want to do the same thing. We're going to type in if error, comma, not available. Okay, and then I'm going to control shift enter again. Perfect. And then now what we want to do is actually get the unit price and we're going to use the same uh, formula as we used here, but we're going to want to return the value of the PO or the unit price, I should say. So I'm just going to copy this formula and I'm going to put it right in here. And right now, all we need to change is we want to return now the, not the purchase order, which I have here, but we want to return the unit price, which is the latest unit price, which is the whole purpose of this. We're going to then hit control shift enter there and you'll see that that shows up. I'm going to now put this in currency, center it, and then I can also just increase this and then do whatever coloring or shading you want to do in here. So now that if we type item two, for example, we can go out and we'll see that the latest purchase price is $94 and we can confirm this if we go over to our data tab and we select item 2. Perfect. You'll see, let's go from newest to oldest. So the newest is the 17th of October at $94 and does that match our data set? Yes, it does. So perfect. So that's working fine. So if we item, say item 4 or item 44 in this case, you'll see that that shows is not available. One quick tip too, if you want to make this, if you hit control 1 when you select that cell, if you want to make that uh, not available fit into the cell, you can see that you just shrink to fit there using that option. Now if I go back and I put 4, oh, let's take that out, that 4 out. And you'll see that that updates and shows me the PO number, the latest PO date, and then the latest purchase price, which is what we're looking for. Anyway, I appreciate you guys checking this out. That is basically how you find the latest purchase price for a given item that might be selected by the user within a given data set. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. I really appreciate you guys checking this out. We'll see you next time.